Originally, I was just going to do a review for Atomic Lighter, but I happened to notice Everlight at a local fry, so I figured I'd throw that in the mix as well. Now, both of these work on the same principle that they have a plasma arc instead of a flame. They're both electronic. The Atomic Lighter is rechargeable. The Everlight uses four AAA batteries. So I figured I'd put these both to the test, compare and contrast, and see how they both work. All right, here is the Atomic Lighter. It's very simple. It opens up like a standard lighter. On the bottom, you've got an on-off switch. And this opens up to reveal where your charging cable goes. And after that, all you do is open up and push the button. There is a slight sound to it, if you can hear that. It's kind of a crackling, high-pitched sound. This is Everlight. It's more like a candle or a grill lighter. The website for this is already offline, but I saw it at Local Fries, so I figured I would add it to this review as well. Now, this one, unfortunately, is not rechargeable. You have to squeeze these tabs on both sides here to open up the battery compartment where you have to put four AAA batteries. You have a lock, which is similar to the on-off switch on the other one. And all you do is push that button. This only has a single arc while the atomic lighter has a dual arc. I would imagine this is going to be better for lighting candles and lighting grills, things like that, while the atomic lighter might have uh, other purposes that it's better for. So let's put both these to the test and see how they both work. The commercials show uh, a test of the lighters in the wind, so I figured I would turn this fan on and see how it compares with this standard lighter. Let's check it out. Okay, we've got the flame. And then it blows right out. Okay, let's try the Everlight. Oh, it's kind of making a noise. It's staying lit. It looks like it's struggling a little bit, but it's staying lit. You notice that the arc does get thinner, though. I don't, know, I don't see it. I guess I do see it. It's definitely thinner. See that? But I would say it's pretty windproof. Let's try the atomic lighter. Oh, you hear that? Whoa. It might be windproof, but... Oh, look at that. Is that safe? Should I even be doing this? Wow, I don't know. It almost seems a little bit unsafe to me, but maybe not. But I would say that they definitely held up on the wind, even though uh, the arc got thinner. It seems like they still held up. I should point out that the Everlight can only be held on for 30 seconds. The Atomic Lighter can only be held on for seven seconds and it'll automatically shut off. Watch this. That might have been a little bit more than seven seconds, but it does have an automatic shutoff feature. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is compare four different candles, lighting them with four different methods. So let's start off with the Atomic Lighter. So already what I'm seeing is I want to have my thumb on the top, but this thing is kind of in the way, so I have to kind of turn my hand a certain way. You know, I can't even get it on there. Whoa. There we go. A little longer than I expected. All right, let's try Everlight. Here's the button. Candle number two. Hmm. We'll go back to that one. How much is a regular lighter? And 
Good old matches. Well, I'm not sure what happened to the Everlight, but um, I tried cleaning off the tips and then I put a fresh set of batteries in there and it, it's not working. All I did was put it against that candle for a second and that's it. I'll, uh, I'll keep playing around with it, but right now the Everlight it seems like it broke. But my initial reaction on the atomic lighter on that candle was that it was really hard to get it real close to it. I mean, if you see on this one, you have to get it just like, I mean, the candle barely even fit in there. I mean, that's, that's a lot closer than I'm usually hold, used to holding a lighter to it. So I don't know. That seemed more awkward than just a regular lighter to me. I had higher hopes for this one. It was off to a good start and then it stopped working. So if I can get that working again, it might still outperform the atomic lighter. Otherwise, it's a bust. Okay, I replaced the batteries yet again, cleaned it out. And here we go. Oh, it worked. This one seems like it clogs very easily. I had to clean it out twice to get it to work properly. One of the commercials shows them lighting birthday candles. I don't have a birthday cake, but I thought I'd do a birthday pop tart. How about that? Let's start off with the Everlight and see if it works this time. Oh, it worked. Now the atomic lighter. There you go. It is a pretty small opening when you have to light it there, but so far I've made it work. One of the most important things I think for the atomic lighter was to see how it worked for cigarettes. So I went out and searched for some smokers and it only lasts through one smoker. Now keep in mind, this had been taken off the charger right before I left and immediately stopped working after one cigarette. Here's what happened. See if you can get the cigarette yeah. in there. Yes. It's like half, let me see, how does it come out? Well, I may not have been doing it right. Do you have to, you have to rotate it maybe? That's weird. Cause see, then everything gets stuck to it. Oh yeah. Oh, you got like ashes and stuff in oh, there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did it stop working? Yep. Oh. See, that's why I wanted you to test yeah, it Yeah, it's not, that's not gonna yeah. be a good product. Oh, the first time. Yep. See, that happened with another one I had with a candle, and the candle wax got on there. You can okay, clean wait, it. Okay, let's turn it off, turn it back on. I think you can clean it, you can clean it out, I think. Ah. Nope. And anybody with fingernails like me will not buy this, because this hurts for me to oh, use really? my fingernail. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it. Okay. I would take it back. Like, if I bought it, I would return it. They say you can clean it with a brush there, so that's what I'll probably do. And when then I get see home. if it works again. But if one cigarette makes it stop working, that's yeah. going to be a pain. Who's going to keep cleaning Who's, their lighter? going to be a pain. Nobody's going to sit there and keep cleaning their lighter. All right, since the first cigarette attempted on the atomic lighter kind of killed it, I'm going to try to... It's because right, you see right now, we got nothing. I'm going to try to clean it out. The instructions say that if it gets clogged to use a small brush, I have a brand new toothbrush here. And I'm going to see if I can clean that area out. So when I got home, I tried cleaning it out, I put it back on the charger, and it did start working again. Keep in mind, it had a full charge when I left to do the cigarette, so for whatever reason, the charge exhausted quickly when I was out and about. It was hot outside, so it could have to do with the heat, could have to do with how long it took to light that one cigarette, but for some reason, it stopped working right away. Let's try a candle. That worked. Yay. Let's try something a little bit more challenging, like a fireplace. That's right, we're gonna do this. Oh, jeez. Well, it worked. I almost lost a hand, but it worked. The one I have is a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna stick with that one. This one seems kinda of short. Okay, so I have a very old grill, and the lighting mechanism doesn't work anymore, so I have to use a lighter to get it going. So I'm gonna try the Everlight and see how well it does here.
It worked. It worked. I don't think I would do the atomic lighter there because it's too close to the flame, but this worked. As far as just lighting simple fires go, I think either one of these will do a decent job. the Everlight. Now let's try the Atomic Lighter. Got to hold a little bit closer now because, see, I don't like that bothers me because I want to hold it like that and this thing's kind of in the way. I feel like I'm welding more than I'm using a lighter. I feel like I'm welding the paper. All right, it's, it's lit. Okay. Not the paper towel. For those of you worried about me catching my house on fire, nothing burns out here. It's, it's just rock. So I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Not too concerned. Yeah, again, it started easily. I could even probably light something like this. It just seems a little bit awkward to me, especially that, that lid on there. I'm not, I don't like that very much. So that worked, okay. I don't know why that's not working. Well, I mean, it kind of worked. So for lighting a fire, I, I mean paper or something, or some dry leaves, I think they'll both work, but I'm not sure they're better than a regular lighter yet. What do you guys think? The atomic lighter is well made. It feels heavy. It's uh, it doesn't you know when you push the button when it's closed it doesn't light up. When it's charging it also the button doesn't work either, which is a good thing. But the only problem is that the how small that opening is. Whatever you're trying to light has to fit in there. As far as a cigarette goes, it kind of lit half of it up and she had to rotate it around. Birthday candles barely fit in there, and the wax got on the sides and tends to clog it up also. And this seems to be in the way sometimes too. So I wish this could go back a little bit farther and I wish there was a little bit more space in there. Now obviously it's probably safety reasons. They probably don't want you putting your finger in there, but it would be nice if there was some way to get more of an opening there and still retain safety. With Everlight, it was the same kind of thing. When I tried to do the candle, I got some wax on there and it stopped working. It was pretty good for doing the grill outside, doing the fireplace and doing some other lighting things. I wouldn't try it on a cigarette because it only has that one arc. You'd probably have to go up and down like that so really this would be for cigarettes but it clogs them and seems to make it stop working this is for something like a candle where it's deep inside of a cup or a grill or a fireplace but really i'm not sure the technology is perfected yet i'm not sure that it's superior to a regular butane lighter when you have a lighter like this and you have a flame that tall you can put a cigarette in there you can put a candle compare that to how small the flame is here I mean, you have a much smaller area to work with. I have one last test to do. I wanted to get all my other things out of the way first. So for the atomic lighter, I'm gonna run over it with my car and let's see what happens. Okay, here we are. Final test, the atomic lighter. Let's see how it does against this Ford Fusion. I'm gonna run it over. Okay, I got my microphone with me in the car. So let's see what happens. Okay. Starting it off. Well, I didn't feel anything. Let's see what happened. Okay, well, it does look like the tire went over it. I don't know, it's pretty solid. I think it's gonna hold up pretty well to that. Okay, that's where it's dark at. Yay, it passed the durability test. So with Everlight and Atomic Lighter, I'm not sure this is really a perfected technology. It seems like to get clogged really easily. I'm not thrilled with this one using only alkaline batteries. You can't even use rechargeable batteries in this one. I do like that this one is rechargeable 
and I like the, how well made it seems, but the space for the flame itself is not very big. It's going to be kind of problematic to use that for things like cigarettes. You could light a fire with it. You could light paper. For this one, you could light a grill or a fireplace, but it's not really as long as the other ones I like to use, so I don't think either one of these are perfect. Kind of neat gadgets, but I don't really look at them beyond the novelty factor at this point. I don't think these are ready to replace traditional lighters just yet. Have you used a lighter like the Everlight or the Atomic Lighter? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.